countrymen and women this is prince chanda aka headliner i want to talk to my pf family i think uh, it's very important that i think we draw a line and really put it in clear words who needs to respect who and who needs to be disciplined i listened to this uh, so called uh, press briefing addressed by one honorable campiongo who is calling himself a chief whip i don't know i i have got a problem understanding a chief whip party chief whip aside the, the one that is appointed in parliament the one i know so my point is putting the three the two people that talked that is honorable campiongo and uh, honorable mpankata these two gentlemen we are very instrumental in the affairs of pf prao during the elections that we lost lamentably out of foolishness and arrogance honorable kampiongo was a minister of home affairs we lost the elections in police camps that is an indictment on the home affairs minister Honorable Kampiongo was Home Affairs Minister. We had the most treacherous police structure during his reign as Home Affairs Minister. That is an indictment on him. Honorable Mpankata is part of the team that we are standing for the election in Northern Province. He must have won. Yes, he won. But all the MPs in Muchinga and Northern Province, the loss of PF in those strongholds, traditional strongholds, is an indictment on them. This propensity of thinking, because people gave you a mandate as a member of parliament, then you hold monopoly of ideas, even when you are messing up yourself, must come to an end. I think we, the general membership of PF, deserve respect from these imposed leaders. I don't know where this propensity comes from, where you, you, you stand, look into the camera, and begin to threaten people who should be threatening you for what you have caused. Really? Where is this guy, where, where is this audacity coming from? This audacity is not the kind of audacity that we should be exhibiting in public. It's a foolish audacity to say the least. Look at the, ins the insults that the president is receiving from the general membership. Because there's a perception that the president is messing up the party. Yet he is a party president who has just lost the election as a Republican president. And some of the people are being asked to discipline these cadres who are talking from their, 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 their outpouring of their hearts because of the foolishness of that our leaders perpetrated that made us lose our elections. The 1.8 people have been let down by the people that were in front. Our people are not sleeping in their homes. Some of our cadres have run away. Why? Because we lost power. And those that caused us to lose power, that we don't have our comrades sleeping in their own homes and with our own wives, are going to sit on the TV and concerned about the people that they have hurt and begin to make cheap threats. This will not be tolerated. This will not be tolerated. We are making these statements very clear. We can be quoted anywhere. This idiots of being threatened by people that caused us an election, caused us to lose an election, will not be tolerated. What we expect from the general leadership of PF is first of all to do things that will bring dignity to the party president of PF. We still have to respect him as party president. We still have to respect him as the sixth president of this country. Every patriot must have that respect for the man. We are going to respect the acting secretary general, Honorable Chirangwa, on account that the person who is part president has appointed him. Otherwise, we can treat Mr. Chirangwa as any other illegitimate SG or deputy SG. So he doesn't have the mandate and the power from the people to even start threatening them as well. PF is not for any other person. PF is for the people. No one should treat themselves that they, 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 they hold PF as their own party. They shouldn't think like that. It's for the party. The party itself and its constitution stipulates how 
people must join PF. How each member must participate in the affairs of PF in mobilizing massively. The constitution of the party stipulates the, 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 the responsibility of a member and the responsibility of a leader. You can't impose the responsibility of a member to you as a leader who has failed in your, in your responsibilities. Why is it that people are so stubborn not to listen? We have the members of parliament today deliberating very well under the tutorial of the, 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 the man who is a whip in parliament on our side as opposition. We are happy and we are enjoying how the debates are coming out because PF members are coming out to be more smarter than the other ones. Why can't the same spirit that is being exhibited in parliament when where people are using common grounds to debate in the interest of the party and the country be extended to the party that sponsored them? The party sponsored you to go and be in parliament, elected by the people, endorsed by the structure. You sit there on the top, you begin to think the structure is useless, you begin to think the membership is useless. That's nonsensical, nonsensical. We must not tolerate that. We expect our leaders to humble themselves, especially these who, who, who practically contributed in destroying the, 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 the party. Those who are ministers, we know you. We know how much you failed to, to in your responsibilities. We know how much you contributed to this so-called corruption. That is perception in my, in, in my understanding. But you contributed because of the way you conducted yourselves. The pomposity we are showing destroyed the party. The cutters you are sponsoring, that you are spoiling with money, destroyed the, 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 the party. People thought we are just extravagance stealing and being extravagant for nothing. The flamboyant life that we lifestyle that we adopted led us into losing the, the, the elections because we removed the service to the people and began to do things for our own interest and selfish motives. The stupid schemes that were in there for those who were camping to be the running mates and those who are scheming against President Luke, the same man that you are going to pretend to be, to, be, to be speaking for. You betrayed him, you guys, a lot of you in PF. It was very clear. Some of you openly undermined him. And it's so appealing that today people can have the audacity and the temerity to sit and look into the camera of the people that they disappointed their heart and they threatened them. I will not take that. Let me, let me sound this very clear. The kind of disappointment our ministers, especially those who are ministers, led in our hearts cannot be tolerated any further. This is one thing that the PF must understand. The general membership is, is bitter with PF. Do not force the youths. Do not force the youths to think in that line. Don't force the youths to do that because they are capable. And when they do that, the government in the, the government in, in, in place today will, will, will clap. Let me tell you, they will clap. Why? Because the, the, the destruction of, of, of PF endorses their stay in power for a long time. So if the youths resolve because of the way you want to treat them, it will be justified. Yes, you can press charges of assault, but it's not going to be done. If you are a please help us help you be reasonable. Help us help you protect the party. Help us help you respect the president. That is there. However, you manipulated the convention in 2015 with those people we called the strategists and tactician useless guys. Still endorsed him as president and is the president of a country that is a sixth president. When you go to sit with him, discuss things with sober minds that will still bring dignity out there for his office. You betrayed him, a lot of you guys in PF, betrayed him. This must come to an end. What we expect from reasonable leadership for those who are ministers is to start speaking on TV every day, apologizing for the wrong things that you did. Anything you, under your, your watch that you didn't stop, that caused people to hate the, the, the patriotic front, every individual minister must begin to do that, waste that time to do that. That's the only way you can talk about rebound, rebouncing 
you cannot just uh, be thinking, you know, you, you bounce back, you do it. You cannot just say that without doing the right thing that you ought to do. He who knows the right thing that he ought to do and does not do it sins. Kabie ni kubantu kalombe ni uwelelo. Tampe ni kukala pama TV mulo ono wale ndarama sheno shumwa pangire. Ukulombo uwelelo kubantu. Ababa amufumishe pa mpando furishiri. Na abafirwa, na abakase ngo mama fikale. Numba abantu tawako eti okuwa kuya. So wapere ni hope. Leke ni tumwa fwe. Mubu tunguri shweno mwalu fienye. Mwisuri ya ma tuine palakasa mfwe. Mwikose mituwe nga wankonkonko tuyo tusavitu wa kose mituwe. Ah ah. This is time for humility. This is time for sober resolutions. This is time for unity. Not this nonsense that we are reading. We are not going to take this nonsense anymore. If it is Kambuiri you do not want, sit properly as leaders with him and every other person agree on one thing. If it is he, he, you whoever wants to be president, sit and discuss with your people as brothers and discuss this is what we are going to do. If you want, if you really want to be president, look at who should go first, who should go second. Don't just look at 2026, the way you were looking at 2021 as the only year that all of you wanted to be president. That was foolish. That was the highest level of idiocy. That everyone thought 2021 is the only place that they can stand as running mate, that they can be as presidents. There was still 2026. Even now, don't think that it's only 2026. Just think and be reasonable. We only ask you to be reasonable, to be mature. It's not all of you that are older than us. It's not. It's not all of you that are, are above our pedigree. It's not all of you. It's not all of you that, are, that, that have the brains enough to manipulate our thinking. It's not all of you. You may not even have the brains to manipulate our thinking. Don't just insult our intelligence and don't insult our patience. That will not be tolerated. You must know, and this you must know for real, that if you allow us to invoke affirmative repossession of the party, we will do just that and do not stop us. We will invoke affirmative repossession of the party because it's not yours. You are just in those positions because the party sponsored you and gave you the responsibility. And if you fail in your responsibility, you have no moral integrity to warn anybody or to threaten anybody. You are illegitimate. By that very endorsement that you are regarding a person who is there as a president, party president, it means that you are confirming that you are, you, you are legitimate. And that is why you must be humble enough. We need to elect leaders who are going to have the legitimacy to be able to command the structure, to command the general public, and to ensure that PF be seen again as a proper party. Choose a sober person that must be speaking. Not all of you can speak. Some of you are only good at making cheap threats. And that must come to an end. Thank you.